welcome to a new video. It is 2021. This is pretty much my first video of the year. Uh, I did release earlier a compilation of videos uh, earlier this year to kind of uh, get people um, to see those uh, games that I talked about in those videos again. Pretty much it was a two hour video of me talking about uh, a lot of the seven generation video games like, you know, PS3, 360 and Wii games, games to look for, uh, games to find on the cheap, you know, at, at GameStop at the time. And as we know with GameStop, they're pretty much have pushed all that stuff out now. So the best places to probably look for a lot of that stuff now is at, you know, retro gaming stores, um, online stores. And you kind of want to gauge yourself of what you want to pay for them, you know. Um, I mean, I still, still a lot of that stuff I talked about is pretty cheap. But when you're dealing with secondhand sellers, uh, they can charge what they want for it. So you have to look at it like that. But hopefully you guys got some information out of that video. Um, talking about GameStop real fast, um, I decided to go there uh, to a local GameStop. Well, not local. It's a little bit further. Um, but I went to the biggest GameStop around somewhere around my area. And pretty much um, they didn't have any of the 7th generation stuff there. Uh, they did have it there, actually, but just not on the floor. So I had to actually ask um, uh, if they, what games they had. And then they printed out a list for me, thankfully. And I went down that list and I checked uh, what I possibly would want. And then they would go check to see what kind of condition it, it, it was in. And I got these games here. Um, I got Fantasy Star Universe for five bucks. Uh, I really like the Fantasy Star Universe game. I used to play this online back in the day. I was on the servers when they were about to shut down, which was pretty crazy back in the day. Just kind of like everybody was just waving. It. It's hilarious. Um, I got this game, Deadfall Adventures, which I'd never seen before. Uh, this is probably one of the last releases for a 360. Um, I'm not really sure. It, probably not at all, but uh, it, it was a very obscure title, I think. And it's got that Indiana Jones vibe to it. And um, I picked up Persona Arena. Uh, one reason I picked this up, I have it on the PS3, but I picked it up because uh, um, the 360, I mean, the, the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, backwards compatible with this game. So um, you can still play it online on those systems. You, and at this time now, you can still play it online on the PS3, but you just never know when those servers are going to shut down. Uh, Microsoft impressed me because they their servers are still going for old Xbox games. Like this game I got 25 to life and a couple other ones. But... Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit more about what's going on with the channel too this year. What I plan to bring, hopefully, uh, some some content you guys will still enjoy. Now, just going back to GameStop real fast. Um, walking into a GameStop store now, um, they've really changed a lot of things. So um, when you're buying used products there, you don't see the used item on the floor anymore. Um, you have they have like a what you would call a mock-up case that you can look at, and it'll tell you the new and used price on that item, and then you have to ask the um, the, the, the clerk uh, what condition it is or do they have this item in stock um, it's a good way to kind of keep their store cleaner and have more room for stuff but at the same time you, it sucks that you have to ask a clerk every time you want to see something you know what I mean I like having the stuff there where you can grab and look at it yourself but you know times are changing and um, it kind of made me feel like I don't really want to go to any more GameStop stores you know I'll probably go there for certain exclusives maybe um, Maybe if they might have an item used that yeah, I know what kind of condition it is beforehand. But just going to the store, it just felt like a really, I hate to say this, like more of a generic experience, you know. I could find more um, like like entertainment or not, not the word entertainment, but more of a better experience, I would say, going to a regular, like a, like a, a retro gaming store that pretty much is a, that has jack of all trades, has everything. I find more um, enjoyment going to those stores now. Um, the reason I love going to GameStop so much, as you guys know, as I said in those videos, I found stuff on the cheap. You know, they were had stuff for dirt. They buy two, get one free, and get two, get two free. All those sales were fantastic, especially if you could find a condition um, uh, that you wanted for that game. But now, just times are changing, and the next time we'll probably see something really cool at GameStop is when they're trying to clear out the PS4 games, maybe. I don't know, and maybe other stuff, I'm not really sure, but right now, um, GameStop is not the real focus uh, for me anymore. I say that now, but we'll see what if they can surprise me. Around, or I want to say early last year, I finally got into the point to where um, I kind of like found a balance between uh, playing games and making videos. So uh, before that, I was having trouble kind of like um, playing the games that I own and beating them because I was always worried about making videos and focusing on capturing content and stuff like that. Now I found a balance finally between the two 
and um, I'm actually I do videos way ahead of a schedule now and release them that way I have time to actually enjoy my other other things in my life pretty much you know so um, I actually started beating a lot of games I own again thankfully and nothing when you when you beat a game that feeling is is a fantastic feeling I mean this, especially if you really like the game that you're playing uh, I'm never forcing myself to play a game uh, that I don't really like again because that just that'll just kill it for you but um the last game I actually beat recently was Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And I couldn't believe that I didn't play that game that much. I mean, I did play it a lot. And then I remember it needed patches and I stopped playing it. And then, like, when I picked it up again, I was like, wow, I should have beat this a while ago and everything like that. But either way, I did it. And I knocked out a couple other games. Um, another one that I'm, I'm, I'm in currently in the middle of is actually Dead Rising 4. I know people don't like that game for whatever reason. I actually think it's the best one. I like the, the new Frank West. Uh, I like that it doesn't have the timer. The timer was annoying, but um, to each their own, I guess. But I'm just knocking that one out. I'm actually working on a couple other ones. I actually dropped that one for a second because I got in the mail one of my favorite RPGs of all time, Final Fantasy VIII, a remaster for the PS4. And when I got that game, I just everything just dropped. I just immediately took everything out, put that game in, and I've been playing that game. I'm already halfway through it. Um, I love that game, despite what people say about it. They don't like the junction system. You just gotta know how to use it. Maybe it's overpowered, yes, but you gotta put time into it to get it overpowered. But anyways, uh, that's what's been going on with me game-wise. So um, I'm not really a big Christmas guy. I haven't been for quite a long time, especially when you become the Santa Claus. But um, I actually got to visit my brother and sister, which was really nice. I hadn't seen them in a year. And they got me a Christmas gift, which I wasn't really expecting. I, I tell everybody not to get me anything because I just, it, was, it saves me from like trying to look for stuff for them because I have no idea what everybody wants. And it's annoying and I don't want to go out in the crowd. It's just horrible. But um, my sister got into the hobby of making these diamond beads and she made this Mario for me. Now, it probably looks a little, I'm pulling it up here. I'll probably just show some B-roll that you guys can see it a little bit better. But when it's against the wall, it looks really nice. And um, she made this for me. And uh, my brother picked it out, and they, they totally surprised me with this. I thought this was really cool. She made my brother a Kobe Bryant one, which was really nice and everything like that. So she made one for both of us. And, you know, that was just, like, really just surprised me. I think this is really cool. I'm going to get this framed, and I'm going to put it up on a wall. Well, maybe I could keep it like it is, but I just don't want it to get messed up. You know, it means a lot when someone puts a lot of effort into making you a gift like this. So that was really awesome of her to do that for me. And I got to see my nephews, uh, which I hadn't seen in a while. One of them I hadn't seen in a while, and that was always nice. They're funny as hell. One of my nephews is a big Mass Effect buff, and we're going to do a video on the Mass Effect series. Around the time, I would say the remake comes out. You know, I'm excited for that. Um, I actually got him into the Mass Effect series, and he never let me forget it, you know. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's just nice to kind of have someone that really likes a, a series as, as much as you do, especially when it's a family member. Uh, I got to see my other nephew again. Um, I didn't get to see my niece that this year, but I'll see her sometime this year, hopefully. And it was just a really good experience for me. It really gave me a lot of energy. really got me pumped up and everything like that. Now, as far as going to the channel, I want to let you guys know that um, the podcasts that you guys have been asking about are still coming. Me and X have, have, actually have a bunch of podcasts. We, I just haven't uploaded them yet because I want to get them ready to where I can kind of like uh, have them come out on a regular basis. So say, for instance, like, uh, I put one out. I want it to at least come out for like maybe the next month or so or two months every, um, we, I would say the next three months, like every Monday or whatnot. What so you guys have a continual um, podcast until we end the season or whatnot. We got a lot of ideas for those. I'm really pumped up. Um, you guys really got us excited to do those since you guys really like them. And they're fun to do. It's a, it's a, they're really chill videos to like hang out with a friend and do. Um, as far as this year, I want to say it's like when it comes to like uh, things getting better. Um, yeah, obviously we're hoping things get better. We're not sure where it is yet, you know, with the whole COVID thing and whatnot. Um, hopefully things get back to normal. I mean, it seems like we're on that track, but you just never really know. Um, and when I say back to normal, everyday life, you know, people going out, hanging out, doing their thing, hobbies, work. Um, being able to go to conventions, which was sorely missed last year for a lot of gamers, uh, those conventions are, they really mean a lot. Cause um, going out, going to those conventions, buying games, hanging out with friends, it's just like it's it's an awesome experience. It's really good time, and a lot of time, you know, being an older adult, you're like you can't really hang out with everybody like you used to because you, you got job, you got family, you got other stuff going on. You just can't hang out. 
like you did when you were like a kid or whatnot, when it was carefree life or whatnot. So those times when you get to do those things really mean a lot, you know. So uh, hopefully things get back to normal. I'm looking forward to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Hopefully I'll get to meet a lot of you there this year. I'm going to say it's going to happen, but you never know. But I will definitely be there and probably to a couple more conventions. Uh, I really enjoy going to these conventions. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy hanging with friends. It's just a great experience. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Look forward to the upcoming videos I have. I have a massive pickups video probably coming out later this month. Uh, some breaking the seals and bringing that series back. Um, just a lot of cool stuff that you guys will be interested in. So some top tens and all that good stuff. And finally, finally, a freaking PS1 hidden gems. I found some gems that I think you guys will like. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end it there. Radical Reggie, and I will see you guys in the next video.